Cliff property, it could finally be investigated further. From drawings created from descriptions by Tesla and his manager George Scherf, four possible tunnels began at the bottom of the tower's 120-foot shaft, curving upward to the surface. Using ground-penetrating radar, the search began across Tesla Street at the Rocky Point Fire Department, the site of the 1979 incident described earlier. Because GPR devices have depth limitations, the strategy was to try to find the points where the tunnels may have reached the surface. Other limitations with the GPR unit may occur from factors like construction backfill, natural phenomena or other anomalies. On the corner of the property, the sensors detected an approximately 3 by 3 foot hole about 5 feet down and descending in depth towards the centre of the tower base. Following that path, there is another detection 5.5 feet below ground across Tesla Street towards the tower. Then, another detection on the same axis, this time on the Wartoncliffe grounds, a 3 by 3 hole at the depth of 10 feet below ground is located. There are no further detections towards the centre of the tower base, perhaps suggesting an abrupt descent of the path, since maximum detection depth by the sensors is between 10 and 13 feet. Seemingly interested in the tunnel search was Wardenclyffe's mascot, Little Nick, but if he knew something, he wasn't talking. As suspected though, following on the axis, opposite the original southeastern detection site, another hole is found approximately the same distance northwest from the centre of the tower. It should be noted that detections by the GPR units could represent other sources like sewer lines or drainage channels, but the symmetry and alignment of the detections does support a tunnel-like cavity on a direct axis through the centre of the tower base. Another vindication for Tesla more than 70 years after his death. Based on the measurements, the tunnel configuration may have appeared more like this. Due to time constraints, the search was conducted on only two of the tunnel spurs. Based on this investigation, it is surmised that the other two would be as pictured and create an axis from southwest to northeast. Also investigated on the property were two brick cisterns. Though it's possible these were at one time part of the tunnel network, they appear to be connected with the drainage systems of nearby buildings since the GPR unit was unable to pick up a path from them towards the tower base. But perhaps by using more sensitive techniques like hammer seismic, more conclusive results can be determined.